Welcome everyone to Belinda's Country Living. Today is Thursday. It's our weekly food pantry haul. I've had a busy day today. Here in Indiana, it is 60 degrees. So I've been outside just piddling around and I uh, had to, um, I went and picked up my oldest grandson from school. He is sick. He's in bed. Um, so yeah, I was feeling kind of down in the weather earlier. I believe it was Monday. I didn't feel so good, but I learned to go to bed, sleep it off, and, you know, let nature take its course. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I was blessed with today. We got a bag of onions. I'm telling you, I've got so many onions, I just can't, I can't use them up fast enough. Um, anyway, blessed with onions. Got a gallon of milk, and it's in date. Good till 12, 11, 23. <clears throat> That's good for cereal, making gravy. I don't particularly care for the 1%. I drink 2% or whole milk, two dozen of eggs, grade A, a sister in day. And they're also good till January the 2nd, 24. I think they give you a couple dozen every week, but I used around a total of maybe five dozen uh, around um, Thanksgiving to do all my cooking. Got a huge pumpkin pie. Now, this, uh, the date is November the 22nd. So, I'm not sure on this. I do know that pumpkin pie or any pie that has milk in it has to be refrigerated. And that's a week old, so... I'm kind of reluctant on that, but I will tell you, I love these containers. So I do save the containers. That way, if I make pies and have to take them somewhere, I just put my pies in these to-go containers. They're, they're awesome. Do you all do that? I love saving them to-go pie containers. Here is the um, brochure. It's the Great Harvest Pantry Holiday Schedule. Was closed November 23rd. Senior Day was last week. And then we have our Senior Day, Friday, December the 15th. Now that would be, I think, the third uh, Friday because it'll be closed on the fourth Friday because of the holidays. Pantry will be closed 1217 to 1 8. You know, they need a break too. I love them. We got a red velvet cake. Not my favorite. The kids will eat it. And we got some blueberry muffins. Now they are November 29th. So, yeah, they're a day old, but they're still good. And I'm thinking that I could freeze them if the boys don't eat them. I know I'm going to take Wilma, a couple of them. She loves blueberry. She's not been feeling very well. I added to my apples. They gave a few apples this week and two oranges. And another thing, a chicken broth. Some asparagus, another thing of ketchup, and we got deep fried pickle flavored dip. Okay, um, I don't know about that, but we'll see. And then Hidden Valley secret sauce. I've never used that, so. It looks like you could put that on a chicken sandwich or, I don't know. You tell me. 
um, you tell me out there, would is that basically maybe the same as what McDonald uses on their Big Mac? I don't know. And uh, we got some bare naked granola peanut butter. Okay, that would be good to snack on or put on some cereal. Got three bags of cookie dough chocolate chip. I got some of that chocolate chip last week, but it was a different kind. I'm going to have to get to baking some chocolate chip cookies. That's the easy kind. Just cut them and bake them. Got a box of Zest uh, Original Crackers. Another box of strawberry banana oatmeal. <clears throat> um, I'm not a lover of that, but... And then Baked House Crackers. I'm not doing a very good job today holding this up. Baked House Crackers. Tender Bird Frying Chicken Leg Quarters. I'm going to take in, I'm going to put that in a crock pot tonight and let that cook all night. And I might add some homemade noodles to that. And uh, I might even just add some barbecue sauce to it and add some baked barbecue. Tennessee Pride Sausage Gravy. Got four boxes of Devira stuffed pizza. Well, this is uh, a buffalo style chicken mac and cheese. And then a personal size three meat pizza. Yeah, them boys are like that. And then we got a bag of California shelled roasted almonds. I'm going to have to get to eating almonds. Almonds are good for you. Statistic says eat at least 23 almonds a day will help lower your cholesterol. It's uh, good for blood pressure. It's got a lot of fat, uh, good fat in it, vitamin E. So, you know, yeah, almonds are good for you. So, 23 a day. Now, I don't know if roasted almond and raw almonds would be the same benefit. I don't know. Guess I'll have to do some research on that. <clears throat> okay, so, over here to the table, we got some more snacks. Some baked sour cream and onion, kittle cooked, barbecue, and a uh, bag of chips. Boys hasn't been eating much potato chips. Velveeta shell mac and cheese, pop it in the microwave, that's good for them. Um, for something quick, two things of apple cinnamon applesauce, bag of donuts, mixed donuts, Sour Patch Kids, boys really like that, cheese crackers, gotta go to Wilma, two cupcakes, mini donuts, we got a bag of 10 miniature butter mini croissants. Them are really good. I'd have to cut them open and toast them in the toaster oven because that would not work in a um, just a regular toaster. Be hard to get them out. We got a bag of regular white hoagie buns. I might do something with that. Maybe I, when I cook that chicken, I can shred up the chicken and make chicken barbecue sandwiches or you can do a lot with that. We got some soda. We got some Mountain Dew. We got a tea, Sprite, 
Uh, got a cranberry. That's going to Wilma. And I just keep on and keep on. I can't stress enough to her that she has to drink or she's going to end up with a UTI. And, oh, yeah, this, this here stuff, I'm, I'm sorry, but that is plain right down crap. And I don't know why the food pantry gives that away, but that is going in the trash. Lord gosh, them boys don't need any more energy than they have. Uh, water, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Tropical Vibe. I don't know if that's flavored water or what, but yeah, this is what I was blessed with today. I didn't get a whole lot out this week for um, my Christmas decorations. I want to show you. I did get my white poncetta out. Let me plug it up and and let you see what it looks like when it's lit up. Uh, there, now it's lit up. It's a lot prettier at night. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't... But this year, I'm not going to put out a whole lot of decorations you know teenage boys they don't give a hoot one way or another um but i did get my let me move you in here i did get my snowman out let me turn you around here i gotta show y'all out my snowman or the that's the girl and then I got the big snowman. I got that snowman <clears throat> at the uh, Goodwill here about three weeks ago. You can set that thing anywhere. And then, uh, let's see. Now, here. That's the girl. I got them backwards. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? I just got them sitting on the back of the couch right now. But um, that's all I got out so far. I haven't, um, uh, haven't even got my little tree. I'm going to put up a little tree. Over here is my little table that I have my family that has passed on to heaven. And I do need to get some um, photo frames to put all this in. That's my daddy there. That's my daddy. He died in 2010. And my brother, David, he passed away in 2016. And Mama, God love her so. I miss her so much. She passed away in uh, 2013. And then my sister's son there, he... Um, passed away, I want to say three years ago, I think he was only 30 years old, um, he hung himself, and then my brother Gary, he passed away January 9th, 22, and that's him there, we had a large family, and then we have, that's Sean there, that's my nephew. He passed away in 2019. Um, yeah. And then my brother Wayne, he passed away in 21. And then, let's see what this one is. This is my other brother. He passed away in 23 of this year, March 23. So I always put them out so we can remember them around the holidays. And I like candles. Um, we just love to keep them around, you know. But things happen. 
dad was ill, mom was had a stroke, and she didn't do too well after that. She just went downhill after, um, I'll turn you around here. She went downhill after dad passed away. They were married, I believe, for around 60 years, so it was hard on her. That's all she knew was to raise kids and cater to dad. And sad to say, but if my dad said jump, my mom, she did. It was like she would say, how high do you want me to jump? No, I'm just saying, uh, I used to tell my mom, don't do that. You know, by golly. You know, you work hard all day just with the kids and everything else. But as time progressed, all the kids were gone and everything, then he was a much better person. So, anyway, that's today's video. want to thank all of you. I just thought I would share that with you a little bit. And I am still working on doing a live. I practiced last night um, on my laptop. I'm not sure if it will um, show up good or not, but I did do a test run on that um so i'm playing around with that you know i'm not tech savvy so and i'm still new to all this youtube stuff so i'm working on doing a live this upcoming week and when i do i will post a little video or put it in the community tab to let you all know that i will be going live so hey in your comment tell me what do you want to talk about uh, we, we could do a lot on life. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful and a blessed Thursday evening. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Till the next time. Love y'all. Bye-bye.